Hey, it's Melissa. I have a question for you. Do you ever feel kind of guilty when you're making art? Do you ever feel like you're being a slacker when you put time into making art? This is a big issue for a lot of creatives, especially if you are also doing your creative thing as a source of income. It becomes really, really easy to make the focus completely on, am I gonna make money from this? How can I make money from this? And if you're doing something that isn't gonna make money, it starts to feel kind of like you're being a slacker. This happened to me big time with my own art business. I built up a business, making a living, selling my art. Great, right? Except that it became all about the money. It became just a job. So for those of us who do generate income from our creative thing, creating for play, creating for the fun of it and the joy of it feels like it's frivolous, like it's self-indulgent. And for those who are not generating any income from their creative thing, it feels perhaps even more frivolous and self-indulgent. How can we justify doing this thing? What is the value here? This very question came up recently when I was hosting a Q&A call for my academy program. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I shared with my academy members. First of all, I'm going to invite you to think about your own life. When you give yourself the space and the time to do your creative thing, to make your art, whatever it is, how does that feel? How does it feel in the moment? And how does the rest of your life go? That's something really important to pay attention to. I have a workshop called Born to Create in which I walk people through a meditation and ask them to visualize themselves doing their creative thing with all the time in the world, all the permission in the world, no need for them to do anything except create for the fun of it. And it's always really validating when people come out of that guided visualization. It's as if their entire bodies have relaxed, their faces are relaxed. They speak of feeling free and calm and energized and happy. If you were able to find a drug, say, that would enable you to feel without any side effects, free and calm and energized and happy, you would want that drug. And the cool thing is you already have access to that drug right now just by giving yourself the time and space to do your creative thing and no side effects. The Talmud has this saying that I really like. It says, if you save one life, it is as if you had saved the entire world. Now, I suspect that the rabbis who came up with this saying were probably talking about the physical saving of lives, the difference between life and death. But I'm going to take the liberty of applying it a little more broadly and say that if you save one life from low-grade misery and living in black and white, it is as if you had saved the world. And we know that there is at least one life that you can save. Yours. Still not convinced? How about some science? It turns out that when you do something that interests you, that engages you, it actually restores your brain's energy. It restores your brain's ability to leverage its power of self-control and willpower. It, it enables your brain to better say no to distractions, to say yes to things that you really want, even when the short-term things seem very appealing. And it enables you to have much more patience and tolerance for the irritations in your life. Your boss ticks you off. You are less likely to yell at him or her if you have just spent time doing your creative thing, something that engages you and interests you. The upshot is, it is never self-indulgent to do something that restores your energy. It is never self-indulgent to do something that restores your energy. Think about that. Print it out. 
pin it to your wall. Your creative thing restores your energy. Giving yourself that gift is not self-indulgent. It is powering you up to deal with all of the challenges and frustrations of your life. What could be more valuable? So the next time you start to feel a little guilty when you're making art, like you should be spending your time doing something else, remember that. Remember that it's not self-indulgent to do something that restores your energy, that you are powering up your willpower in order to face the challenges of your life. So what's stopping you? Make the space. Give yourself this incredible power-boosting gift. You won't regret it. Let me know how it goes. Go get creating. Mwah!